Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started exploring a little bit into the world of ratios, and we've, we've come across other kids how to uh, tackle this particular survey here. Here we have a survey of young ladies, teenage girls, and they're, they're asked to what t-shirt color um, they like the most so that a company can, 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 can get a good idea of what colors they should uh, make as far as you know selling are, is concerned. So we have red t-shirts, blue, green, white, pink, orange, and yellow. And it looks like white is the t-shirt that's pretty popular, red is not, but we're going to deal with ratio. So the very first exercise down here, a question that they pose or a situation they uh, toss at the kids is describe a ratio relationship. Now a ratio relationship is using words, talking it out uh, in the context of the survey. So we have to use this information for which the ratio is 3 to 5. So uh, what I'm going to do here is look at uh, look for those values. I noticed that there are three orange, or three young ladies that really prefer the orange t-shirt. And I have uh, pink seems to be, uh, seems to match up with the five pretty well. Uh, but I, I can't switch things out. I can't talk about pink before orange. This is a three to five ratio, which means the orange, since it is the three, has to come first. And simply what I'm going to write uh, is something like this. For every, and the, the language is important, the words are important. So for every, let's see, uh, three orange shirts. that are preferred there are five pink shirts preferred and that's pretty much it uh, now remember the the order is important of course um, that's about it. So, so let's move on a little bit. There's a little more we did for, for today. What I'm going to do is just kind of uh, move everything down, but I'm going to need to uh, clear the screen. So let me do that. There we go. Now we got to this big old chart, which is pretty cool. It says here for uh, the first one, let's take a look. I'm going to change colors here. Let's go to red. For every seven white t-shirts uh, they manufacture, they should manufacture four yellow. So now what is the relationship between the white shirts and the yellow shirts? Now remember the white is coming first. And I'm just, white is coming first and the yellow comes second. We have to hold true with that. So uh, when we write our ratio, we have a 7 to 4 ratio. Now you can write 7 and put T-O and then um, the 4 as well. You can write that either way. But stay in order and it's a 7 to 4 ratio. Okay. I'm just going to erase that bottom one so I can leave that space. we go back to the red. Now the next one for every 4 yellow t-shirts they manufacture, they should manufacture seven white. So let's stay with that. So four to seven. Now it's the exact opposite of the first one. But remember, stay in order. Don't mess up the order. The next one's interesting here. I like this one. It says the ratio of the number of girls who liked a white t-shirt best to the number of girls who liked a colored t-shirt best was. Um, well, the white, I believe, was seven. Let's go back for a second here, back in time. So I need I need the number for white t-shirts, and I need the number of t-shirts that actually have color. So it looks like I'll have to do some adding. So let's check it out. White. Hmm. Now white looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white. Okay. Looks like I have seven white. And for the red, I have one here. I have four for blue. I have two. I have a five. I have a three. And I have a four. And if I add those up, these guys give me seven. Uh, let's see, the seven, let me add that guy there, gives me eight. This two gives me 10. This five gives me 15. And this four gives me 19. So it looks like I have 19 shirts that have color, and I have seven that have white. So let me get rid of this here. So seven and 19, I'm going to hold on to those numbers. Seven and 19, now let me go back where I was. See if I can match all this up again here. This is the fun part. There we go. And so I have 7 to 19. So 7 to 19, and that's my ratio. Okay? And that's basically how it works. All right, so that's what we did today. All right, thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.